here it goes. Is this TikTok? No, this is this is wait a minute. That's Where not you? TikTok. Where are you at? Yeah, that's not TikTok. I must have been on Facebook or no, I was on YouTube. Oops. Okay, live. There we go. There we go. What's the dark night of the soul? I forgot my, my sanity. Welcome to Metaphysical Meanderings with Master Psychic Lana Duncan Hartgraves. Lana has been a practicing psychic for 25 plus years and has gifts of clairaudience, clairvoyance, and clairsentience. She is an empath, a medium, as well as a pet communicator and health advisor. This week, we talk about the dark night of the soul. However, First of all, we're just going to say happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Lana, happy birthday to you. 29 years old, congratulations, yeah, that is fantastic. Same age as my daughter, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's my birthday, and the reason that it's important is because Anybody that knows me, I turned 55 and I retired. I officially retired now. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, now and, and you have to understand, that's why I'm, I'm doing this Dark Night of the Soul, you guys, because I want you guys to know that awakenings just don't happen overnight. Like you go through ups and downs and I'm in the dark night of my soul also, but I understand it. So at least I can give you guys some support so that you understand, so you can make it through. And okay? here's, and here's what we're going to do for the last 15 minutes of the show. Instead of everybody asking a question, everybody's going to give you their prediction for your next year. How's that? Oh, Oh, How fun would that be? That, that's fun. I need to try that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you guys hear that? Okay. So if for everybody that I, let me explain all this because I'm in the process. Hi, Panta. How are you? Um, for you guys, I, it, there's so many awakenings going on, you know, since we started the, the, uh, well, the pandemic, but also the yeah. Aquarius, which is the same thing as the pandemic. It all started at the same time. Yeah. And, there's like five stages and I need to write my ebook and get this book out here to you guys. Um, because tr usually the first step of all these, there's kind of like there's five stages of grief or it, like the stages of grief. Mm -hmm. Well, there's five stages of, of an awakening so yeah. that you understand you've got your trauma and your aha moment. Like, Oh my God. Like it just hits you like with a ton of bricks. Okay. Then you got your, your shock and disbelief. Then you got your dark night of the soul. Then you got your submit to your awakening. Mm -hmm. It means you're just, okay, I'm okay. I'm yours, God. And then you're in acceptance. So we're going to talk about the dark night of the soul so that you guys understand. Hi, Anna. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you for the happy birthday. Um, I got probably about, I think, like 500 wishes on, on TikTok. So <laughs> I hope they all come true. <laughs> I ho Hopefully. Okay. So <laughs> my, my wish did come true. Like, I'm retiring. And yeah. you guys, if you guys, what's so funny is that, I have friends who are also psychic. Us psychics need other psychics. So if you're, you need a mentor, you need somebody. Hi, Jen. Okay. Then what you guys need to do is um, talk to other people that do what I do. And you get like, and you make your own tribe, right? Mm -hmm. And they told me, I mean, at least 10 times you have a windfall coming. You have a windfall coming. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Right. I'm like, win the lotto. And they're like, it's like that. Well, I didn't know that they paid me to retire. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say how much, but it was a windfall. And it's invested and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And it's just, <laughs> you 
you know, you, you start doubting it yourself and then it happens. You're like, oh my God, they were right. You know, and I'm almost like, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go through this whole dark night of the soul, you guys, because, um, yeah, I'm still young. Yeah. Well, that's, that's right. There is what, yeah, I am young to be <laughs> retiring. And that is why I'm going through the dark night of the soul, because let you guys know, you know, you get your aha moment and that came about mid to late October. When I, somebody said to me, you know, you can retire, right? And I'm going, no, I can't. I got to work from 60 something, whatever. And they go, oh, no, no, you better call because they're paying people to retire. And by the way, I still think that that has a lot to do with why we have such a labor shortage because everybody's just retiring. They're paying us to retire. Anyway, so that was my aha moment. And it came about six to eight weeks ago. And I said, I said to my friend, I'm like, who's a really good friend. I've known him for years. And He's like, oh, no, you can retire. You're one year older than me. I'm waiting, and I know. And I'm like, really? And he's like, no, really, call. And sure enough, that was my shock, my aha moment, because now I get to do what I want, and I want to do this. So you, so to teach all you guys, because remember, I'm a master teacher. I've been, I am considered a master teacher in the state of Illinois. They consider us master teachers, and I've taught for 30 years. So um, I just want to teach. I want to go to a, from teaching middle school to teaching adults. And by the way, when I teach, does it seem like I'm, I teach to like 12 year olds because it does seem like I teach yeah. to 12 year olds. I don't know. I try to simplify it, I guess. Um, and by the way, Kent, I thought I would share this with you really fast. I asked my students who are in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to know, because we always say the kids are not, they don't know what's going on. Right. They're dumb. They're this, blah, blah. They're not getting taught. And I asked my kids, when was I born? immediately 1966 well what was happening there in 1966 well let's see the beatles and then i had somebody go well what what war and somebody raised their hand and go the cold war and i go that wasn't the one i was thinking but you're right yeah. and then somebody said no no the vietnam war and they got into a debate in the middle of my art class <laughs> about the war i was so thrilled to know that my Younger generation knows history that I about my teeth all pie fell out. I mean, I just, and I was very, very happy with that. Yeah. So it made my, warmed my They're heart. They're paying attention. Warmed my heart. So, so anyway, let's get back to this. So we're going to get back to the dark night of the soul. And what the dark night of the soul is, is you have to have that dark air place where you're at before you pull yourself out. And it's normal. Now, everybody, I've talked to you many times about awakenings, and mm -hmm. awakenings don't just happen at one time. You may have one small one, one big one, one littler one, then another big one. It goes, it's all over the place. You hit certain ages, too. Now, um, in my 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 astrology chart, 55 is a very, very significant year. And I kept saying, well, why? that's interesting. Well, I'm, I'm looking when I went, 37 was big, 27 was big, and and if you and, and if somebody knows astrology, because like I've said, I'm I'm a learner. Um, I'm not an expert. I will I I, I would say I'm not an expert yeah. to anybody, but um, I know what 55 was big because I sat down with somebody who was showing me all my trines, all my all the different things that I had, and 55 was big. Well, I didn't understand that. Well, now I do <laughs> because that's what I'm going through right along with you guys. Right. So you know, I'm at a point where, okay, what's my next move? Do you see, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and it, it's, so I've, I've worked 30 years guys. I've tried This is the only thing I know. I've been 20, I was 24 years old. What do I do now? Well, I kind of know, but it's still, it's kind of shocking. Yeah. So, so you posted out on TikTok yes. about the dark night of the soul. Yes. So I did a little research, right? Yes. Because there's a poem called Dark Night of the Soul. Yep. There's there's yep. different things. Yep. Um, it's a term that goes back a long, long time. Yes, it does. Right. Thousands of years. This whole system right. that, I, that I do is thousands of years old. Yeah. It's mm -hmm, a spiritual mm -hmm. depression or existential crisis. Yes. Right. That's and, what the Roman and, Catholics And, and what does an existential crisis mean? I took philosophy. Existential yep. means who am I? Yeah. That's who existentialism right. means you're really analyzing who you are. So that is part of an awakening. And okay. and where people who aren't in tuned, uh, perhaps spiritually, yes. a lot of professionals will say it's clinical depression. Yes, they will. Right. They'll confuse it with now, that. That's where 
a lot of people now I've got a, I've talked to counselors, but I think yes. everybody's meant to some type of therapist. I mean, come on, let's be honest. And yeah. I talked to one a years ago who also was into what I do. And so mm-hmm. she, she completely, you know, and, yeah. and Jungian psychology accepts what I do as, as valid. Mm-hmm. And, um, she said that a lot of times people will say you're clinically depressed. It's not, that's not it. What's going on is your soul growth. Yeah. You know, um, you're going to pull yourself out. And if you, you know, I'm going to go over what's going on with everybody because the dark night of the soul is like one of the most difficult trying parts of all of this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you usually have your tower card. Now you guys know what I mean by tower. Remember yeah. I was, I, 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 I guess I should start pulling cards again and explaining cards again. I That's always that good. Well. Yeah. yeah. I get off the subject. It's metaphysical meandering. Right? That's right. Anyway. <laughs> so, you know, a tower card is a swift change that changes your perception. Yeah. That's what a tower card is. It doesn't, I always get the people on there that, oh, it's horrible. And they, I actually got into an argument with YouTube on, on, on YouTube with somebody about a tower card. I said, it's not necessarily bad. I've seen where good things have sure. happened, but it does change your perception very quickly. It shakes you to your core. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think one of the times I got one was, I kind of think aware. I know that I got one one time and I, I thought it was like the best. I, I, I horseback ride of horses, right? And I thought I was a really, really super good horseback rider. And I am pretty good. I mean, I am. But I took a tumble. <laughs> and it said I got a tower card. I'm like, yeah, um, per- change of perception. Literally, I fell. Because sometimes that's another tower, tower card thing when you're going to take a fall. Yeah. Literally, a fall. So anyway, so, so what you go through is you get your aha moment. And then you've got that shock and that disbelief, you guys. You're like, really? How how is this happening to me? Okay. All right. And somebody said, thank you for being so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, then you start going through. So listen to some of these things that you're going to go through. You're going to go through that anxiety and that depression. You know why? You're grieving. Because you know you can't be the person you were before. You're grieving for the person you lost. That's yourself. That's what what the anxiety and the depression, that's what it is. Now, with the anxiety and depression, what I, I find is that sometimes you get like a buzzing or a ringing. Mm. Have you ever had that? Yep. You get like a ringing in your ears or you or you kind of like a, I can't, sometimes you even get heart palpitations. So, yeah, I, um, I've had all of it. Okay. I've had all of it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Somebody's trying to call me on, a, on another yeah. line. I'm going to turn it off. So anyway, back to this. Yeah, That's so Jen, Jen says the dark night of the soul sounds like the desert period where yes. the spirit takes a pause from spiritual learning. The time where we nap a lot, uh, let the spirit process. You can ask for it to be short, she said. Yeah, well, you know... It's it, like I said, it's growth and down and growth and down and yeah. growth and down. And, you know, and you just have to process it. There's going to be a lot of anger. You know, a lot of it anger is yeah. stuff you have to let go of. You may be angry at people in your past you haven't let go of. I noticed that there's a personality change in me. I'm I'm much I'm not as, I, you know, I'm, I'm a fire sign. I have a temper. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> hey, you're, you're a Leo. You've got to have a temper. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a cancer Leo. Cost, well, cancer so. Leo cost, but still. I do. Yeah. You, you can have a temper. I, I'm, I do. You know, fire signs all have tempers. I mean, usually mm-hmm. it's very hard, but I noticing in my mind that my temper is, I'm much more able to hold my temper. Yeah. I'm not as flying off the handle. Um, I also notice the change of, uh, even somebody else. Well, that's going to happen when even... you stop working with idiots. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to tell you, it isn't the kids. Right. Now I didn't say been, it was. Right? Never has been the kids, guys. Right, right, right. I'm never has been the kids. Nancy it's says. the adults. Yeah. yeah. Nancy says, Lana, I just pulled an Oracle card for you and I got awakening. <laughs> isn't that funny? Yeah. Mm, isn't that interesting? Isn't yeah, that I know. You're right. Thank you. You know. I know I'm, I'm in the middle of a huge awakening. I, I'm coming into my own and I know it. And I have mm-hmm. a very long life. I know that too. I'm supposed to. Yeah. And I mean, if anybody knows me, I'm extremely healthy. I'm like, I gotta kind of watch what I eat. My blood sugar is kind of weird, but I've, I'm not on any meds or anything, but, um, 
I won't be surprised. I, 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 there's so much that's been being shown to me. It's almost being yeah. thrown at me and I've asked spirit not to. And so be watching for extra stuff that's on, on, on my, my social medias, because you're going to start seeing things. I just got offered a new platform, um, to do lectures and to do, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like my Patreon, but it's in a bigger platform. Nice. So if my Patreons can follow me there. So, but, um, workshops is what it is. And anyway, um, so you're right though. Um, but you're, you're, like I said, you're mourning the, your old self. You're mourning your old way of life. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's always fear. You know that we all are fear. fear. Yeah, We're always. afraid, you know, and, um, everybody is, even though I can see what I'm supposed to do, what's still, you know, you're afraid. Yeah. You know, it's just normal as a human being. So, yeah. But, um, what does Sharon yeah, say? Sharon here? says, I, I predict you're going to enjoy your peace and quiet more than you think. And your farm animals are going to enjoy you as well. Spring, uh, you're going to plant happy flowers, maybe sunflowers. <laughs> I do plant sunflowers every year. <laughs> I, I do rows and rows of them. Um, I, I, you know, what I think for me, and I know that one of my things that I'm learning when I look at my own chart. So you have to understand us astrologers. We learn from our own charts. So yeah. we understand how to read everybody else's. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been doing is studying my own. And then I pick a few people like Kent and I start uh -huh. studying their chart because ask him, I'm accurate. I was surprised. Very, I'm very accurate. Yes. I was yes. really surprised. I was, I'm just, well, you know what? Um, a good astrologer, a good medium psychic and astrologers combined yeah. because they're, you're using all of your talent yep. anyway. Um, but mine, it's telling me that I'm supposed to be in balance. I'm out of balance. I'm working too much. I'm putting way too much energy in things I shouldn't be. <laughs> it's that simple. And what's important is I remember I'm a Taurus North node, you guys. And if you're a Taurus North node, you're how to make money spiritually. That's what you're supposed to do. So that, and so here I am that doing that. And that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Although I have to admit, I mean, I was an art teacher and I taught thousands. I, we figured I've taught over 50, between 10 and 15,000 children oh, I bet. in 30 years. Sure. And so if you think about that, that was really spiritual, I guess. So anyway, but like I said, I'm in a shift and I know it. Um, my kids say it, they can they can see it. They said that now one of my, my students said to me, and I didn't say a word that they know I'm retiring. I have not made it any type of, um, I'm doing it mid semester. I have not made it any type of formality. Secret. I, well, I'm a Sag. Sages can't keep right. a secret. I don't know if you guys know much of any, any other Sages. We don't keep secrets well because we're, we, we're too honest. And so I was honest with the kids. And one of the kids said to me, why does your aura look different today? <laughs> and so one of them said to me, and I'm like thinking, oh, I know why. <laughs> and, then the, you know, and they don't understand that, but they can, and they can also feel I'm different, that there's a mm -hmm. difference in me. So anyway, I think that was interesting, you know. Um, Yes. And you know what? Sag rising does count. I just had somebody who asked, they said something about does Sag rising count? You better believe it. If you're a Sag sun, moon or rising, anything I'm talking about Sag works for you. Now I'm a Sag sun, a Pisces moon and a Capricorn rising. And I'm a Sag cap, uh, um, cusp. So I'm always the, even though I'm the fun, love and Sag and all that, I'm the, I'm the responsible one. Like, yeah, that no, really, that's a Capricorn. So, and a moneymaker well, and a, a money business person. So, anyway, so back to this. So, you've got your, you know, here's some of the other things that might happen. All of a sudden, some of your negative habits decrease. Decrease? Like, decrease. Oh. You don't need them anymore. You don't need those crutches anymore because your soul is in alignment. It's becoming aligned. So, think about that. Um, I've got a couple of, I got a couple of bad, I, I like to shop. I mean, I'll be honest. I like to shop. I noticed I just don't do it as much anymore. Huh. You know, I, I don't, I don't need to, you know, I, I don't know. It's, you know, maybe, maybe your soul becomes happier mm -hmm. during an awakening. And after your awakening, I believe so. Um, but you don't need those things anymore. Yeah. So they kind of, all, the old has fallen away. I guess that's biblically speaking. So, okay. Um, some other things you go through is why me? I, you may say, may not admit that to yourself, but it is true. 
why me? <laughs> why, why, why have I, but what, why? Okay. Especially when you have a really, sub, really intense awakening. Cause this is a very intense awakening for me. Mm-hmm. Why, what am I special? No, not really. Do you know what I'm saying? You do go through that in your head going, well, why me? What'd you do? Choose me for to do this for? Is this going to on for everybody? Yes, it does. I have seen some people that I know of personally that have never had an awakening. And they just weren't special, supposed to have an awakening. I don't know. They just weren't. Um, remember, we plan everything that we do when we come here, right, you guys? We come here and we plan. we've we already planned it. That's what deja vu is. When right. you start having lots of deja vu, it's your soul saying, hey, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. So, okay. Um, some other things, you feel really super lost. Now, you guys, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I know you know what I'm saying is true. You're lost and you're like, well, I'm so lost. And when am I going to find my way out of this? Now, this is the bad thing about all of this. It can last for quite a while. All right. It, it just can that feeling lost. I remember about six years ago, I had a bit of an awakening. Um, and I felt lost for a good year, year and a half, maybe even two. And then I, I got back on my path. I got doing what I'm doing. And now, see, that's what I'm trying to tell people. Everybody always thinks that I had my awakening and I'm awake now. And no, no. You go up and down. You'll go backwards a little even. Then you'll go forwards again. Then you'll go backwards again. And you'll go up and down and all over the place so that you understand that this is a process. Okay? And and there's also other things that you do. You start searching for meaning. Like, well, why am I, why am I in this relationship with somebody? And it, I know that you, your circle of friends change mm-hmm. big time. Like you're, I don't know, but I can see through some people that I couldn't, they've always been good. They've been pretty good friends, but I've always had friends that of other friends have warned me about them. I'm like, Oh no, you're, you just don't see it. You just don't know. But Oh yeah, they were right. <laughs> they were right. Yeah. I got somebody that uses me and I, I, when they need me and now and yeah. now i back up and i look it's like my eyes are open more so yeah but i'm gonna invite somebody in off of off a of, off a of TikTok and see what i get how's that there you go see what happens see what happens okay i wonder why it won't tap i don't know it won't tap well you guys have to remember i'm on facebook am i on instagram YouTube. no i post it to yeah, YouTube, you posted, yeah. facebook youtube 21 6, 21, the, 6 net. the net and TikTok. so it won't tap. It won't let me. Well, hmm. isn't that? That's not meant to be, right? Sorry, guys. That's right. I guess not. There, I tried. Yeah. So Liz, Liz says, uh, so true. Been going through it, the ups and downs and reversals, going on almost two years now. Yep. Oh, I'm tired. Is, yep, Liz. But you have to remember, the bigger they are, the the more you're supposed to be doing with it. And you guys know that the reason you go through these is to help others and serve humanity. So. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, you have, you know that something's coming. You know you're supposed to be doing it. You just don't understand it yet. I get it because that's kind of where I'm at. I've actually got so much thrown at me right now. I can't get on. Um, So much thrown at me right now as we speak that it's hard for me to like see through this. And I, I know I'm supposed to be mentoring other other psychics. So if you, I've got probably I'm like the psychic psychic, especially on TikTok. Um, so if you guys are also readers and you know I'm mentoring people, um, if you guys wanted to want to be on my podcast, we don't know what number we've got right now, how many are watching, but we were nearly. It was between under uh, my highest was eight hundred yeah. eight hundred thousand. So um, it might be higher. Who knows? I don't. Know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get it. Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. Anyway, but um, so you're letting go also of what doesn't serve you. Right. And it's like this process. And I don't know how else to describe it. Okay. And where do you go from here? And so, who knows? And everybody's different. And nobody knows. Okay. Oh, what's a good astrology book to start off with? Oh, I got a very good question. Um, oh, God, what's it called? It's blue and it has the astrology on the front. 
something of birth dates. The Astrology of Birth Dates is a really good book I, for you guys to watch. I was going to say Try. Astrology for Dummies. <laughs> there is an Astrology for <laughs> Dummies. You are right. Uh, um, but there is the Astrology of Birth Dates. It's birth dates. It's birth probably dates. about 20, 25-year-old book. Yeah. And it's really Both super good. thick. It's blue. It's like a real brilliant blue, kind of like the 216 yeah. color blue. And... Um, and that's a good place to start because it starts explaining. If you learn, if you guys want to learn astrology, you learn from yourself because you lay your own chart sure, out. And right. then because you know yourself so well. Mm -hmm. And then you go to other people. And that's the what best, quickest way I have found. Okay. Marissa says um, great. Yes, book. I have that book. Great info. Thank you, Marissa. Yes, it's a pretty good book. So a question's coming sure. from a listener sure. is um, with this dark night of the soul, does it last longer if you fight it? You know what? Good question. You know, you can fight this all you want. It's going to happen if you want it or not. I mean, that that you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to submit at some point. You you can try to fight them. And yes, I've had some people that I've watched trying to fight. Like they shut it sure. down. They try to shut down their spirituality. They try to shut down their religious experience, whatever. And it comes back even worse in another hmm. way. Wow. I have never, of all the years I've done this, I've not seen people not do their awakening. They can't come. You you can fight it all you want. It just prolongs the, the just, dark night's uh, soul. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, okay. But good question. Good question. So, um, tell me it was just going to say yes. Okay. Um, what's recently becoming easier? What does that mean? Oh, uh, does that, okay. I have a question here. It's on Facebook. Um, I've been trying to downsize and had difficulty letting good things go, but recently it's becoming easier. Does that mean I'm ascending? Yes. But the easier, the best way I've always said that the way to get through this quickly is to do something that scares you, to oh. get you yourself unstuck. Because what happens is you're stuck. The dark night of the soul is stuck. And yes, you're fighting it. We all do fight it because you know, like, okay, so here's my example. You're in a relationship, right? You've been in it for 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't serve you anymore. You know it doesn't serve you anymore, but you fight it because you're like, because it's your ethics, it's your morals, it's what you were raised with, it was what your belief system. Well, that isn't your belief system. That was what you were taught to have as a belief system. So you're fighting and fighting and fighting, and then something really bad happens, like that forces that to be put forward. Because if you're supposed to be doing something else, spirit's going to just take care of it for you. So you can either go with it or you can just keep fighting it until something dramatic sure. does yes. happen. Okay. And I, and I'm not going to say anything really bad dramatically, but I'm talking, I know several people where they, they knew they should have been out of a relationship for 20 years. And then the spouse up and died. Hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? And, and it was almost like, it was uncanny. Do you know what I'm saying? And it was supposed to happen because you were supposed to ascend and you didn't. Do you see what I'm saying? So I don't know how else to say it. I, you know, I just know that right now I'm going with this. I'm scared to death. I'm going to be honest with you guys because I'm my I'm retiring, but I'm not making enough to live off of. And I've got investments, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just, so I have to work part time. I was just telling Kent that I, Anybody that says right now that the job situation is great and there's just, I've applied, I've had a hundred places I have applied to part-time and not one, one person has called one. And I'm like, I got, I know they don't want to hire me. I got two master's degrees and 30 years of teaching experience, but still, I don't know. I, I think that a lot of that's just mm -hmm. a bunch of crap that they keep saying, well, we are looking for people and you're lazy, and but I want to work where hire me, yeah. <laughs> you know? So yeah, but, so um, Jen says, uh, I'm an indigo kid. My first okay. awakening was five. Okay. I remember going out of body, then coming back in and thinking, I'm here now. Uh, as in, okay, can't back out now. Second awakening was 17 years old, followed by the dark night of the soul because I couldn't find like-minded spiritual people. Yes. You know, you have to find your own tribe. Yes, you have to find your own tribe. Um, I'm feeling very comfortable with my, with my, um, not my TikTok, my, my, my Patreons. Um, yeah very much like a little family at this point um i actually have to post don't worry patreons i'm posting a dark night of the soul video that i'm gonna have you guys check out before anybody else gets okay and then but, uh, um, jen says for your birthday check out outschool.com and teach there 
Okay. Thank you. You know, I've, I've even gone remote. I've gone on to mm -hmm. repeatedly went to remote places to, 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 to teach. I could do stuff like that. I've been doing, I did it for a year. We were, my whole school district was closed for a whole year yeah. and I know how to teach online really well. I'm very, very techno savvy. Obviously all the social media crap I'm into yeah. anyway, but, um, and it's just been kind of weird. It's just, I, you know why, you know what I really, really, truly think spirit doesn't want me doing any of that. Ah. <laughs> I think they want me doing this. Yeah. So I just have to go with it. And I know, and I have a little faith. Well, and Mar yeah. Marissa says, Lana, you're explaining the tower of tarot and its energy. Yes, I am. And you are right. I am explaining the tower, the tower card. And I want you to understand that a tower card, you know, I don't have my tower, my, my tarot cards, or I'd pull a tower card for you. But, um, I just don't, cause I don't, you know, sometimes I carry them on me. I just don't have any today, but, um, in the tower card, mm -hmm. it's, if you think about it, the tower card is, has his lightning bolt coming down. It's kind of, oh, he's looking it up right now. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, you can pull it up onto my screen. It's on my screen at 216 the net. And um, it's a lightning bolt hits. And the people were in the tower enjoying their view. Well, all of a sudden, they're falling to the ground. And they're, so their perception has been changed. That is what a tower card is. Okay? And... Um, So, um, I, if you guys, if I take a little bleep, bloop like that, I've got like five screens in front of me. So <laughs> I'm reading different people's, yep. uh, uh, advice or what they're asking. Yeah. So, um, I got several people that want to know here on TikTok if I am going to actually take questions. So I, how about. <laughs> it's her birthday. Everybody's her supposed birthday. to tell uh, your <laughs> predictions for her next year. And by the way, keep watching. I've right. got, I think. Uh, can't I've got at least thirty to forty predictions for next year? Ah. So the very first week of January, which I'm excited. Be, yes, because they were they were pretty. They were we pretty hit a lot of them this year, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, we I was pretty accurate. I yep. went what about eighty five percent? I would say. Yep. Yeah, at least. Like that. I think at that's least. what you said. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, Some that I put asterisks by going cuckoo cuckoo. I know you're thinking was, I was crazy. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I got a couple that I wrote down that I think are nuts too. And I just, I have to remember, I do them at night. I wake up, I keep a pen by my my bed. I wake up in the middle of the night and I start writing. And I wake my husband up. He gets mad at me. He goes, what, what are you doing? At me. And I'm like, sorry, because you can hear me write because of the way my, I write it on my my, my phone. Yeah. And you get, that's what it does. And he was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm writing because they're telling me to. So that's what I do. So be watching this. Because when it'll say predictions on it. It'll be about and, three weeks from yeah, today. Yeah, in about three weeks. I won't be here Christmas or New Year's. Or New Year's. So, but I will be back the first of the year. Okay. Um, <sighs> go ahead. What we've got. I'm trying to read all these people. Yeah. So um, so there's the tower card. You got a little bit yeah. of sunshine. You yep. got it being struck by lightning. Looks like some people. Well, notice their, their perception has changed on the card. Yeah. That because they were up at the top looking out, now all of a sudden they're falling to the ground looking down. Yeah. And you have to remember that's what's supposed to happen. Your perception has changed. Now, if it's an upside down tower card, they look like they're falling up. But it's a it's a shock, a blow, but it's just not as intense. There's also another card that represents that. There is the um the Knight of Swords, which means change, but it's not as severe as a tower card. Oh. So sometimes you can pull them, and they'll mean that they'll mean something sort of similar. Okay, so let you guys know that. All right, and um, and yes, they got, they are universal predictions. They're for what time am I going to share them? I am going to oh, a big fan from New Newfoundland, Canada. Hello, I got a lot of Canadian people. Matter of fact, I've got time on my phone for Canada because I have so many followers in Canada. Um. Uh, this will be at right at this time, 1130 Sunday morning here at 216thenet.com. I'm in a podcast station. And it will be, what, what, what's that date? Uh, what what is that? Uh, what's that date up? The 6th, 8th? Yeah, I think it's sixth, the... It's the 4th? Uh, let's see. For a second. I want to say the 7th. So the, the ninth, maybe. Hold on. Let me look at the I calendar. believe it's the ninth. The ninth. Okay, so January 9th. 2022. Uh, 2022, and you'll be able to ask questions too. Um, Which keep in that's mind my is big six. show. That's where I get. I usually get close to a million people. That's watching. right. So that's yeah. Right. So yeah, because I, I, 
didn't realize, you know, it, 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 that was another thing I went through. Um, that was part mm -hmm. of an awakening also. It was about 2018. I started doing on the national predictions. I I was kind of scared to do the national well, you had predictions. Some, you had I some mean, universal ones. out there. And you had some yeah. universal ones, too. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying? You're putting yourself out there, and it's scary. Mm -hmm. And I started doing it about 18 or 19. And I wanted to say that. I did not predict the pandemic, but I predicted the changes it was bringing. And if you guys look on my old Facebook post, you'd have to scroll back if you go on my Facebook. On uh, Lana's Enchanted Sky, or actually it's Lana, the comedian medium. Oh, no, Lana's the painting medium. I Facebook won't let me combine the two. Anyway, and you'll see the postings coming where I saw all the riots. All the, the Black Lives Matter riots. I saw guns. I, I, and I kept saying I don't understand, but I kept writing it down and sharing it with everybody. So that is what I see. I, I get what I see. I'm clairvoyant. I'm clairaudient, too. They'll talk to me. So, and those are my two modalities. Um, everybody, by the way, has a modality. So if you're a psychic and a medium, and I've got tons of people on my TikTok that are also psychics and mediums, your modality may not be a medium it may not be and if you are a medium it may not it may be you it's your transentient it feel like okay i do a little a combination but mostly i'm i'm, I'm clear audience i hear because i'm one of these people like i have a very photographic type of memory but if you tell it to me i process it better and i so that, that just to let you guys know so okay um so back to all this I'm in the same spot you guys are. And I got, at least I know some of you guys have been there. And Kent, I know you're in the middle of one. So don't <laughs> you just laugh because I predicted I it. Yeah. And if you remember our conversation, I said to you, it was a near-death experience. And you go, of me? Yeah, and I go, exactly. no, it's somebody exactly. you know. And yes, we know. Yeah. And it did happen. Just like I said, it would happen. And I was using, I was not using my psychic ability. I was using astrology. Yeah. So I'm no, learning it. And it takes years, you guys. I mean, Oh my goodness. I just learned about sextiles and trines and I'm just now starting to understand degrees. So it's like flooring me that it's this complicated. It's this ancient. And people say it's pseudoscience because I don't care what anybody says, give me your chart, give me your dime of birth and everything. And yeah. it's uncanny. It's uncanny. Yeah, it's and crazy. I still say it has to do with time. Mm, I still no. say it has to do with time. OK, it has to do with time, time jumping. You know, people always say, well, how do you do what you do? And I still say that I'm able to time jump slightly. I still say that that I think that's what I can do. Yeah, I think if you're if you're going in and in and out of this realm, I, there's got to be a piece of that. Yeah, I, I think I always say E equals MC squared. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I shared that on TikTok, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I yes, um, just recently that I said, you know, energy is neither created nor destroyed and that it goes from one one form to the other mm -hmm. well what do you think what do you think the soul is you know so yeah, yeah. but anyway um with that said uh we got, we got any other questions anything else um what is the what is the most negative tarot card ida had put up negative there? yeah i don't see or the negative. worst or the worst the the I don't see any neg negative cards because yeah. I'm a Sag. <laughs> Sag, if you guys are Sag, you Classes guys know we full. don't. Right. I can be, I can be, but I, you, I just am a positive reader. Now I don't see bad in any of them, but I would say there are some. Mm -hmm. I would say the Tower card is more potentially bad. You kind of, I do know that even when I pull a Tower card, I'll kind of cringe a little. Okay, what's going on? And it isn't always bad. But a lot of times there's something that you don't want to happen. Um, another one's the five of pentacles. Um, you're down and out. Now, um, I don't, I, this is how I view that card. Okay. The down, the five of pentacles is a card where these people are down and out. They may be sick. They may be there, but they're, and they're walking in front of a church. The church is going to give them solace. And I always say that, that they're searching for their help, their solace. I want to say also the three of swords, the three mm. of swords. It's got a heart with three swords sticking in it. <laughs> that one, you guys. Yeah, that one. I there's, there's pain, there's suffering, there's cutting, there's letting go. That's what that card means. 
sometimes there's surgery. That's what I get when I see the three of swords. So see, there are some that I try really hard not to see the negative in it. Like I said, there's a cutting and a letting go. And if you ever see me watch, watch me on my YouTube. Also join my YouTube, um, follow me. Um, you'll see me. I always say there's a letting go. There's a cutting away and oh, we just got a tower card. Don't freak out. That's the first thing I yeah, say because uh -huh. we all want to freak out when we see a tower card. It's true. So, you know, but, um, with that said, uh, is okay. Uh, is there positive and negative card? That's how you know. Google yes or no, yes or no tarot. Um, you can do you can do yes or no. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to pull cards even for yes or no. There's other ways. There's pendulum stuff like that. I did get something on here about um, how do you know it's yes or no? On okay. Um, I will tell you, if you ever pull a sun card, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, you can also, it, for when you're pulling tarot cards and you have the deck of standard fifth, uh, 78 cards, that gets real easy because it, if it's positive cards, it's a yes. That's how you know. And there's certain cards that lay. Uh, six of wands, a four of wands. There's just certain ones that you just know. There's also people that do the pendulum. Now, every said, I just had somebody on here on my TikTok that asked, what about the pendulum? Does that work? It works because it's psychological. Mm. It's not magic. I, none of this is magic. You do understand this, right? The, what it is, is you're, con, you're controlling it with your mind. Your mind is the most powerful thing you, that uh, God has ever created. And you can control 95% of all, all of this with your mind. I still don't think, because anything, what I've noticed on a tarot reading, anything you've been thinking about in the last 24 to 48 hours is in the, that reading. So I just want you guys to know that. So back to the awakenings, because we got off the subject, but that's what metaphysical meanderings is about. Um, so take, this is one thing I have to say, be extra easy on yourself. If you're going through that dark night of the soul and with that anxiety and that depression, do something you enjoy deeply. Do something to take care of you as you pull yourself out of it. To me, it's my birthday. So I'm going to go like to a, have a spa day, I think. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I deserve it, I guess. I don't know. We'll think about it. But anyway, so just a thought, okay? Um, there's a positive and negative card. That's how you know. Okay. Um, there. Negative energy for December for the world. I'm not quite sure what that means. Negative energy for December for the world. Well, okay. I don't agree with you, but okay. So it's just what you believe then. How long can we be going through this? Oh, okay. Um, I got a prediction on that. That's going to be on my podcast. There you go. And I, I, I already got the answer. And it's not probably what you want to hear. Ah. But... Yeah, no, it's not. It'll be longer than you think it is. So, Although I do want to say that next year is you're going to see it getting starting to things are going. Remember, I predicted last year that it would start to get better, and then it would go up and down. But overall, it's it would be. Yeah. And so you're going to see an increase of things getting starting to get better. I guess you could say, Quote, unquote. in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So look, I got people calling. There you go. Got so anyway, calling. All yes. Right. All right. So. How All are we right. doing this, Kent? Uh, are you ready? All <laughs> right. So here's if you have a question, give it to Lana. If you have a prediction for her on her birthday, yeah. give her the gift of here's what I see for you. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, on my TikTok, there's so many people on here doing free readings. And yeah. when are they going to realize? I've been doing this for 25 years that you can't be going giving everything for free. You're gonna. It's called compassion burnout, but compassion fatigue. Oof. You are going Got to exchange you're creating, energy. Yep, you are. Yep. You have to have an exchange of energy, and you are creating karmic debt. Yep. You have to do something, and I don't always say money. Trust me, I've had some people that I can't pay you, but I got this great joke to tell you because I always tell them on my YouTube, and I'm like, okay, you make me laugh. That's good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So just to let you guys know. That's it. Okay. So, all right, let's get this going. Princess says, Lana, what guardian angel is closest to me? I've had such an off time the past two years. I want to ask for guidance and thank him or her for their help. And I predict a great year for you. <laughs> um, first of all, I, 
everybody has their own personal angel, right? Mm -hmm. And then you also have your archangels that you can invoke. And everybody, I want to say the one that's coming to you is your arc, is your your spiritual angel. And I don't know where I get this from, but I, I want to say he has like a name of like Miguel. And you can like, I don't know why I get the names I get, but they feel like that's what I'm supposed to tell you. That's kind of like being that sent transcendent thing. I feel yeah. a certain way and I'm almost losing my TikTok phone. So yeah, I might be done. losing TikTok here soon. Put so it on that sorry stand. if I do. Put it on um, the stand next to you. So that little thing right there it. is a charger. Yeah, but will it? Yeah. No, it won't charge. Oh, uh -uh. uh, you must have some metal there or something. No, I don't know. Here, hold charger. on. So hold on. I, maybe if I pull it out. There you go. This, maybe like that. Like that, maybe? Yep. There you go. There you go. Look at that. All right, TikTokers. Okay. All right, here we go. Sharon says, do you think global warming will turn around in the next few years? No. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Good question, though. No, I really don't. Okay. Um, somebody has asked me July, January 9th, uh, what time Pacific? That's two hours, so it'd be your 9 30 at Pacific time. Yeah. Um, here on 216thenet.com. I'm on a podcast station. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Go ahead. Uh Jackie says, for my career, I passed the written state test last month. Yay. I just took the state test for the oral uh, dictation and hopefully get results this week. What do you think? I passed the written test. Didn't I tell you? I think, Jackie, you did, I think I yeah. told you you were. Um, oral dictation and hopefully get the results this week. You're you're fine because you're supposed to be doing that. Now, you aren't going to. I don't know why it's going to take a little longer than you thought to get your results back completely or, or certificate. or It's because it's something more in February. I don't know what that means, but I'm supposed to tell you that. Okay? Yeah. Um, I hear I got another question here. This was a rough year. I lost two sister-in-laws in six weeks. Sorry, Lori. How long do you need to wait to try the reading for after they pass? You know what? Great question. I have had where if they knew they were sick, they knew they were going to go, it is immediate. Then I've had other where the people have been in a lot of pain. There's been a lot of negative stuff they're carrying yeah. and you don't see them for a few months because I think I, this is what I feel on the other side and I see it and they've shown me that they cocoon them. You guys know what those cocoons are where there's no nothing in them and they're like little pods and, they, and it's got water in them and you go in there and it's you're void of all emotions and everything. They do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. And once they're healed and better, there they come. And I'm sorry, but Pete was before he was even gone was talking to me. So, I mean, he knew, and he said to me, he knew he was supposed to go. Yeah. So, so if you get that. Well, he's know. a jerk. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> as, a, as a Pisces son, uh, Liz says, and with Jupiter transitioning to Pisces soon, will 2022 finally bring me the luck change uh, I have been feeling? I feel a shift coming for me. I need it. Well, Pisces is a really, really super positive sign. I'm a Pisces moon. And Pisces, um, God, I can't remember astrologically. See, I should be writing it down and bringing it with me. Okay. Um, and I know there's a lot of really, really good shifts for Pisces. There, Pisces is one of the big ones. I, is Pisces and Jupiter? No. It's, it's, it's a huge, there's a huge planet. And it's just really super, all of it's super affecting Pisces. And I know that it is because I know that that's part of my chart too. So I, like I said, I, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up, but yes, there should be, um, you do, you're having a huge shift. There is, and, and it's going to cool. happen for you around. There's going to be something significant in April to May. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Anna says, will my landlord be raising my rent and will it be a lot? Yes, but not a lot. Maybe a hundred bucks. Not that much. You can do this. Okay. You're okay. I do feel like you might want to move though. Are you trying to get a house or trying to move? Just a thought. I don't know where I picked that up. So, yep. No, I just got one. Thank you. Ida says, hey, Lana, I will have my first ultrasound on the 31st of December. I'm hopeful, but can't lie. I'm terrified too. Will I hear good news? I feel like they're going to do another ultrasound, but that one will be okay. I don't know if they can't read it 
or they, they think something's wrong. So if something does go like that, Ida, don't worry about it. Go for the next one. You'll be fine. There's something about having to have another one. I don't know what that means. So, Twins. okay. Twins. Oh, never know. Never know. Oh, never know. Emma says, hi, Lana. I recently started dating a guy called Ben who has suddenly gone quiet. Do you see him coming back or should I forget him and move on? Move on. <laughs> Thank you. <Good> <laughs> I'm quick. That was quick. You know, what, okay. you know um, it's On my TikTok, I've been working on me last two years and manifesting a Scotsman and it's coming to light slowly. Any tips? Don't force anything. Yeah. And just thank your lucky stars. Be show gratitude every day, and that is one of the most positive ways to to manifest is showing your gratitude all the time. Okay. Marissa asks, "Hey, are there any spiritual messages from my spirit guides?" Marissa, slow down. You're going at at, a, at you're going at breakneck speed. Slow down. I, you know, you're you're trying to do too much. It's going to start to affect you. Like health wise, slow down. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just need clarification if I need to quit my job. Yes, but make sure you have something lined up. I feel like if you just go ahead and just quit it, you're gonna be you're gonna really regret that. Put something in place so that you can walk out and tell them to kiss off. Okay. <laughs> Take this job <laughs> and shut. Love it. Uh Emily says energetically the collective has as a whole, we are going through a shift. Yes, we are. Yeah. This is, that's one of the things that I am putting on my, 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 my yearly predictions is that you're going to see people be nicer. Believe it or not. Praise yes, God. I know. Praise yeah. God. People are going to get nicer. I, I see it happening. I see it coming. I, I yesterday I was in um, eating dinner with my brother-in-law and I said to him, I said, I really think that the America's in for, there's going to be a lot of positive stuff happening for the people. Yeah, cool. And, you know, Medicare, what Medicare for all, blah, blah. and he's like, it'll never happen. And I go, well, why do you think that? Because of this and that. And I go, but I know I can happen. see it. I can see it. And you know what? You have to remember, I, my, I don't know why my father-in-law comes to me so much because he used to call me every name in the book. But anyway, I guess he's trying to make up for lost time. And, <laughs> Anyway, no, seriously. I mean, he, I can't even say to you what he used to say. Call me. He used to call, you know. No. Yeah. Like wow. the big one. He used to call me all kinds of names because I'm a very strong woman. And he was kind of, a, he was very much a misogynist. Mm. And now that he's passed, he comes and talks to me all the time. I still think that might be the people that, the things that are on some of my videos. Oh, maybe. because if you guys, okay. When I came last year at Christmas, I had a orb sitting on my, on my shoulder that was green, blue, green, and it floated away. Now here's, here's, it gets me even weirder. So my sister-in-law calls me and that would be her dad. And she got, she goes, Lana, what is this? And right in front of her, when she snapped the picture, there's an orb and it's blue, green. And I go, it's your dad. And she's like, well, how do you know that? I said, because he's been in my videos. And so I I think that on by not that I'm switching the subject again, but I think that people on the other side have opportunities to make things mm -hmm. right. I don't know. I used to never be, a, I used to be a total skeptic of that. But now that I look at so many people who've crossed and I've talked to them, they they say, will you please forgive me about things? And when, as I'm talking, you know, as I'm reading for somebody. So if you guys want a reading, I, that I, I do mediumship yep. and they'll say, I, will you forgive me you now? Go. And it's an interesting thing. I know healing is for ourselves, but they have actually, my, my grandmother came through and she's always, she always played favorites and it wasn't a little bit. We're talking, it was bad. <laughs> and, I was always the least favorite. I think that's why I don't favor my own children because I know what it feels like. Sure. And she asked me to forgive her. And I know that it, the forgiveness is for myself, but that was a very interesting thing for that to happen. Yeah. So it, it seems to me that they come through trying to help make things better. That's cool. So just a thought. Okay. 
Mary Jane says, uh, Lana is my hubby passing uh, before February. And then she follows that up by saying, I predict a powerful influx towards your health center in three to four months. Congrats. I hope so. That would be, well, okay. You guys don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you. So, all right. I, on, on my property, I'm on Native American soil. Um, I live near Beloit, Wisconsin. I live between Beloit and Janesville, Wisconsin equal distance. And there are nine mounds. Well, we know for a fact that there's that, that was a sacred mm -hmm. ground also. Mm -hmm. And I may be converting uh, one of my buildings into mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So you are correct. Uh, guess got to get the funding, right? right? So that's what we're looking for. But, um, and I'm thinking that it would be perfect if I could get the, buy the land behind me mm -hmm. that goes down to the, I have a creek behind me. And so that would be cool too. But yes, you are correct. Okay. So your question? Yeah. Is her hubby going to pass uh, over before February? No. 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 Yeah. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, Tamberly says, will I get a good job at the beginning of the year? No. It'd be more like around eight, late February, early March. Okay. And um, Christopher then follows up and says, hi, Lana. How will my final go this Tuesday for my drag competition or finale go this tuesday for my drag oh, okay. competition I, okay Chris helps Chris. if i can read the question how <laughs> my finale go this tuesday i want you to really really put it into high gear i think somebody important's watching awesome. i don't say things like that very often do i no i'm telling you somebody's watching it can lead to something really big for you okay that's awesome all right that's awesome penny joe asks hi lana my husband passed away in november any messages for me? Did he have dark hair? Was it parted on the side? And he sometimes had facial hair. Penny Joe, tell me. Because I see somebody coming through with dark hair. It's kind of peppery colored, uh, a little bit of gray peppery and with a mustache. Do you know who that is? It might see sometimes it could be a grandparent also or a parent. Mm -hmm. But I'm just wondering if that's him. Because sometimes they also, they bring people with them. So sometimes the strongest energy will come through first to me. Like if your grandma was super outgoing, that's who will come to first. She says yes. That is, it is. Okay. That... Yes. <laughs> there must be a joke here, Penny, because he says, he goes, something about shopping too much. <laughs> He's kind of, and he laughed. So I don't know what that means. Was he kind of a penny pincher or something? Because he kind of chuckled when he said it. But he, but he wants to tell you that, He's very proud of how you've made this, how you've made through this and gotten through this. And he is, I don't know. Are you dating anybody? Because you will be, because he's sending you somebody. I'm supposed to tell you that. Okay. So when you see something uncanny happen, something weird, and you're like, how did that? Because it was sent to you. You were blessed with it. Okay. Wow. All right. Cool. Yep. Cool. Um, May asks, will my younger daughters be doing well in university? One of your daughters, Mel, oh, oh it's May. May. Hi, May. Yeah. Um, one of your daughters will not continue. Uh, they're going to go a different route than college. I, mm -hmm. and not at that university. They're going to do something different. One of them will and one of them won't. I'm not saying bad or anything. I just feel like they're, they don't think it's that for them. Okay. Now, um, I've got a couple of people who are also writers. Yeah. So you guys know I'm a published author. And so I back you guys to I actually thought about getting into publishing and trying to help all these people that are doing spiritual books because, you know, yep. anyway, um, yes, you're going to get another book. And here's what's very interesting. Here's a, should I move on as well? I'm, I'm overthinking or is he feeling toxic and I'm a Pisces? Well, you're a Pisces and we all overthink, overfeel, and we're too hard on ourselves <laughs> because I know, um, I feel like you might have a second shot with that person. I don't know. It's what you want. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, a prediction for your birthday uh, from our good friend, Ida. <laughs> okay. I see lots and lots of flowers and bees around you. Are you starting a honey business? Um, no, but Ida, during the summer, I have thousands of bees because I, I grow, you guys know what hostas are, right? I also run a hosta farm. And so I, what I did is I just kept start, started buying hostas that I liked. And then what I do is I split them and then sell them. And so in the summer, it's just full of bees. And yes, around the corner from me, there are hives. 
So maybe that's what you're seeing. You are right. Okay. Um, so let's see. Teal. Teal says, Teal, I know. Hi, Teal. I know a lot of you guys. And that's what's so neat. If you become my tribe, and I know that. Teal says, if things don't change as of now, timing wise, we will be clear, but scared of hiccups in between. She's talking about, um, okay, we have a family vacation planned soon and dealing with a COVID exposure case. Do we need to be pre prepared for us for not being able to go? You're going, go take a, a rapid test. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You're got, you're fine. You're going. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jen, Jen says, will Kent, uh, will Kent be ring in the new year with us at the end of the month? Say what? Yeah. Will I be going down to their house to celebrate the new year? Probably the answer is yes to that. I can say. So how is Kent related? How are you? Who's Kent? How is uh, Kent? She's actually, uh, she's actually the godmother of Colette, my, my middle daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. See these, well, these things I've talked to Jen yeah. before. Okay. Yes. I just yeah. like, um, did you say mid January, right? No, bring in the new year at the end of the month. Oh, I don't know. It's then I feel like it's after that. Oh, we see each other all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like it's after that, like a week or two after that. Though. They may be coming up to our house. They our might new be place. coming up here yeah, and yeah. they're going, you're going back there. Okay. Yeah. That might be what it is. Cause it doesn't feel like it's at new year's. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Christian asks, uh, does uh, any anyone in my family have something to say to me? I always love hearing from them. Thanks. Christian, you have a little a little lady who is real petite. Her hair is kind of like short and it's dark, but it's wavy, like an old fashioned haircut, mm -hmm. like really nineteen like, twenties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like mm -hmm. like thirties maybe for like when they would have like bar, like bobby pins. Yeah, and they would make them wavy. Um, very quiet. She's wearing a, a sweater that you button up. Is that a grandma or great grandma? But she likes what you do and she's a she she thinks you're awesome. She loves what you do. Go for it. Wow. Awesome. That, okay. <laughs> Anna, Nancy wants to know what your PayPal account is, please. My PayPal account is you want to put it on there? Um, you can PayPal me, but add Enchanted Sky, but you can also do L, because remember my name's Lana, Heartgraves. That's my L H A R T. G R A at yeah at oh at Gmail. I had changed it. L H A R T G R A at gmail.com. Yeah, I'm doing readings after this, you guys. I got like about four or five I gotta do. Um, and remember, you guys, I, I'm not trying to get rich, I'm just trying to pay bills. Yep. And I also guarantee my mediumship. If I can't connect to somebody, I'll give you your money back. Absolutely. Because I that's the right thing to do. That's and right. that's one thing I do. I have very high morals. So, okay. Um, yep. I got lots of people throwing questions up here. Um, will Angel and I get back together? Yeah. All right. We Not got... for a long time. Not for a long, though. I We're running we're... a little bit over. We got It's yes. your birthday, so we yes, got time. Out of here. We got time for two more. Uh, uh, Teresa says, "Well, will I ever win a win big on a scratcher? I'm addicted." What? What are you? What is big to you? Twenty five hundred. Oh, that's pretty big. That's not. Yeah, that's not yeah. bad. You're not gonna win like the big one, but yeah, you're gonna win like a bigger, bigger one. And then okay. Christopher Trevino says, "How does my friend Jorge Dozel feel about me?" He likes you, and he thinks you're funny. Like you're you're entertaining to him. Yeah. Okay. Welcome in, uh, Jesse. Been guided to this channel. That's awesome. Somehow going through a dark night experience. Good. Yep. Yep. Good. We good. Just went over good. That. No. 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 You're not alone. Yeah. Okay. We're all going through it, and in and collectively, the human species is growing spiritually as we speak because of the age of Aquarius. That's it. All right, guys. That's it. Hey, everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in here to Metaphysical Meanderings with Master Psychic Lana Duncan Hartgraves. Thanks for getting caught in the net. To everybody out there, uh, enjoy Christmas and ringing in the new year. We'll be back with predictions on the 9th. In the meantime, if you want a reading, if you need some tarot card, follow, like, subscribe, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, for 
Enchanted Sky or just go out to www.enchantedsky.com or right here you can go to 216thenet.com and go to her page on our website and it'll take you right to hers. For all of us here at 216 The Net, thanks for getting caught in the net with us this morning and be good to each other and enjoy the holidays. <laughs>